Hey everyone, it's Michael Dougal with Remax Premier. I appreciate you tuning in to watch this short message where during this video, I'm gonna update you on our real estate market. A little bit of a different style of video. I'm gonna talk about what's taken place over the past five years. And as well, I'm gonna talk about my market predictions as we're in 2020. And let's talk about how I see the market unfolding. Firstly though, I'll draw your attention to this chart here, which displays all the information from all sales and all listings reported on the Toronto Real Estate Board from January all throughout to December 2019. We have the sales, we have the active listings, the months of inventory, the average price, and then DOM, which is days on market. Firstly, sales, we can see that they really did peak around the springtime, and then they, of course, trended downwards into December at only $43.99, which is similar to the figure in January. Um, active listings similarly did peak around the springtime, late fall as well. There were quite a few homes up for sale, but now, uh, we're only at 7,400 active listings, which is far less than what it was in June 2019. Now, many of you may notice this as you drive through your neighborhood or your subdivision or even your condo building, there are not a lot of homes up for sale. So if you're a seller, you have a window of opportunity that you can really take advantage of. List your home for sale before all your neighbors start to put their properties up for sale. Buyers simply have less to choose from now. The months of inventory really does show that the market is headed in a very good direction for home sellers as it started off at three during January 2019 and only ended up at 1.7. This is even stronger than the figures in the spring and in the fall market, which is great. The average price trended upwards pretty much throughout the whole year. It started off at $748,000 and finished at $838,000. And you can see here, it was pretty much the springtime where prices really did change. And it's been my observation that the prices really have not changed too dramatically over the past six months. Of course, there are exceptions to that depending on your particular style of home and your particular area. And then let's address the days on market where it shows 33 back in January 2019, finished similarly around 29 days on market in December 2019. And this essentially shows that it was a very strong year for sellers, particularly in the spring market. Looking at April and May, our days on market is only 19. This is less than three weeks, which is great for sellers. Here's the next chart I'd like to draw your attention to. This does not encompass the whole year, just December. So we can see in December 2018, there was 3,700 sales versus December 2019, about 4,400. And look at that average price. The average price in 2018 in December was 750,000, up 11.7%. In December 2019, the average price was 838,000. Now let's take a look at the five-year historical. We're gonna look at sales first, and then we're gonna look at the average price. Firstly, sales, and this information probably won't surprise many of you. We can see, looking at at this chart that sales did peak in 2016. There were 113,000 sales versus what we have now 87,000 in 2019, which is a stronger figure than 2018, but doesn't really make much sense given that there's new construction, there's new developments. So I'm predicting that the sales do trend upwards throughout 2020, and we should likely be getting back to that 100,000 figure. As the market has stabilized somewhat, I'm noticing more buyers in the market and more sellers beginning to get into the market too, as most sellers are home buyers as well. Now let's take a look at the average price. This is all really, really positive for sellers. We can see that everybody knows the market really peaked in early 2017 with the average price at $822,000. And in 2019, we're almost back at that figure, the average price at $819,000. However, from my observations and being in the market every single day, doing deals, speaking with agents, we've seen an increase in prices for more of like the lower range price homes. So property below a million, they seem to have really appreciated over the past year. But those high-end homes, particularly when you go over 1.3 or over 1.4, sure, they've gone up a bit, but they have not considerably gone up. So my prediction would be throughout the rest of the year is that this is gonna continue happening happening, homes that are priced below $1 million will continue to go up. I'm predicting about a seven to 9% increase, whereas we still will see the high-end homes and the luxury homes experiencing a little bit of appreciation, but something like three to 5% throughout 2020. I hope you found all this information helpful. If you're considering selling or buying, it is a great time. Call me, call me, call me. My number is 416-671-5218. It's Michael Dougal with Remax Premier. And hey, if you can think of anyone else that may find this information helpful, Forward the email over to them if you receive this by email or simply just copy and paste the YouTube link if you organically came across it on YouTube. I really appreciate your support. I love the comments, I love the feedback. I'll get back to everyone and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.